Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. Today I thought I'd review for you another of the books that I happened across during my sabbatical. It's called Mission Implausible, Restoring Credibility to the Church, and it's by Duncan McLaren. Um, I find it a fascinating book. Um, it's, it addresses basically the kind of existential angst that I and many other Christians feel about the numerical decline of the church in, in the West and in the UK. And he comes at it from a sociological point of view uh, to try and work out what's going on here. And uh, Christians, we, we often beat ourselves up and assume that we must be doing something wrong. But his argument is essentially that, goodness, you know, over the last 200 years, there's been some incredible changes, sociologically speaking, ideologically, that have made it very difficult for any kind of human institution or worldview that has a claim to ultimacy to survive, let alone thrive. And actually, we should give ourselves a pat on the back because to carry on believing what we believe in this, this corrosive and difficult environment uh, is actually quite impressive. Uh, and so I, I like that kind of way of switching around our perspective on it rather than beating ourselves up to say, actually, we're doing OK, guys. It's hard going. It's hard ground. Um, let's let's keep our eyes on the prize. He, he talks about how uh, we need to build what he, he describes as plausibility shelters. Um, communities um, that protect and guard the faith, a bit like, you know, how you shield a flame from a, from a wind. And um, he talks about that kind of need to, uh, rather than kind of merge with our culture and, and water our down and try to sort of um, fit in, he talks about actually we need to sort of build up our, our boundaries and be more defined and more disciplined as communities uh, and stick to our, our guns in terms of uh, what we believe and create uh, practice that through communal living in ways that reinforce faith and our confidence in our faith. And as we do that, we'll also be more compelling to people outside who are themselves are uh, in a sea of confusion and uh, uncertainty. Uh, and if they see a distinctive portrait of what kingdom living looks like, that will aid the church in the long run as well. So I found it a really helpful way of thinking about things. He talks about how the church should be, a, as it were, like a benevolent sect, you know, a, a community that is intense in its spirituality and its devotion to, uh, to, to God and which is defined and disciplined. He gives some uh, pointers um, in the book as, uh, as to how we could do that. He talks about building these plausibility shelters, prioritising community over congregation, so the importance of relationship for reinforcing faith and building confidence, the social factors that influence uh, the faith. Uh, thirdly, re-enchanting our world, rediscovering God in the workplace uh, through uh, rhythms of prayer and practice that will um, build our confidence as Christians out in the world. And he talks about educating adults and investing in young people. And those two really struck home with me because I've been researching uh, catechesis, discipling new believers over my sabbatical. And, uh, and he talks about how we need to give these people, these people who are new to the faith or exploring faith, we need to really equip them and help them to be formed in, in, in a faith that's going to be robust. And uh, uh, we don't always do that. And, and often people, are, they're kind of being bombarded by all sorts of uh, rival worldviews. During the course of a single day, they'll be passing, as it were, through different plausibility structures. Uh, and it's, it's very confusing. And, and actually, we need to, to really be intentional about how we form those who are entering this community so that we can tighten everything up and, uh, and re reinforce faith. Um, so I found it really helpful. He, he finishes with an exploration of Columba, who was the missionary um, to the Celts in the 6th century, um, in the, pre, the days before Christendom. And he says that we perhaps need to sort of explore that monastic way of, of doing church uh, in, in these post-Christendom days. Uh, and that kind of these building these plausibility shelters, these radical communities of, of Christian faith that reinforce uh, reinforce our, our beliefs and, and our practices in this modern world uh, or postmodern world. Uh, and I found that a compelling portrait. You might want to fish out the book and explore that, or you might want to think a little bit more about uh, what that might mean for you as we seek to be disciples uh, and be disciples together in such a way that we reinforce faith and paint a compelling portrait of what that faith looks like to a world that's out at sea.